Happy Friday, y'all. Happy Friday. Am I the only one that's excited about Friday? I hope not. I hope you're all this excited about Friday. I'm gonna send a text. I'm just waiting for the computer to work. And by computer, I mean the iPhone. All right, I'm coming, I'm coming. Come on. And it is sent. Good morning. If you're watching live, make sure you say hi. Or watch, or wait. If you're not watching live, comment hashtag replay. So I know, you know, because I like it. Come on in. There we go. Hey, Susan. Hey, Bonnie. Hey, April. Oh, my goodness, girl. I'm so glad it's Friday. So glad it's Friday. Right? Sheila, it's totally my weakness. Sometimes. I have days where I'm like, man. Um, Nanny Arthur, I send the text for, are you getting them for devotions? Because I, um, I, just, I send the text after I go live for breakfast or for my morning. Devotions I send early. Do you not get those ones either? If not, I'll take a look after this. Uh, you don't want to look at them, Tracy? Are they two in your face? All right, guys. Well, listen. Normally, I can withstand cravings. Okay, I'll look at it after this. I'll look to see why you're not getting the text. Um, I normally can withstand the cravings that are around me. Oh, I'm not going to eat it for breakfast. I'm probably going to have a protein coffee for breakfast this morning. Yes, we are live, Karen. Just close the ad or you can go out and back in and it will come out. I can walk past these and not eat them, but I can't say that I can walk past them and not want to throat punch somebody because I love these. Now... This, the biggest problem right here is, I bought this. I bought this for my husband. He loves Reese's, so I bought this. He doesn't like these, you guys. He doesn't like them. He doesn't like the chocolate to peanut butter ratio. So, it's bad enough when my husband has these in the house and I'm like, oh, I just want one of those so bad. But I, I know they're not good for me. I know they're going to take me down a naughty path. Naughty, naughty path. Where I wake up naked on the bathroom floor, covered in peanut butter, and wondering what happened. You just go ahead and picture that for a moment. Right, Sarah? These are better. The eggs and the trees are better than traditional shaped Reese's. And the spousal unit in this house does not like these. Which means they're sitting here continuing to look me in the face going uneaten. And it's stressing me out. So I'm going to make my own. I'm going to make my own. I'm not going to leave it up to chance that I'm not going to dive face first into that bag. Okay? I'm not going to leave it under... I, I'm not leaving it up to chance. I have weaknesses. Just because I have been on plan for 800 something days doesn't mean I wouldn't dive into those things, okay? And it is a challenge for me. And it's it, it it's stressful up here because I walk by and I'm like, huh. if I just eat one, it'll be okay. No, KJ, you don't need it. So I'm going to make my own. I've already melted some chocolate. I've already seized up my chocolate. You can't, Karen? Why? I'm on Facebook right now. Um, I've already seized it and added a whole bunch of oil because I seized my chocolate. So there's that. This is the chocolate I used. My absolute hands-down favorite chocolate chips. 
Thrive Market. Love them. Oh, look, there's a stray chocolate chip. That poor thing. It was just trying to get away. I just realized I didn't move the Christmas elves. Okay, so let's make some... I need to take my sweater off because it's loose and bugging me. There's my hair on my coffee. Woohoo, getting a show. All right, let's do some filling. I have already lined my molds, okay? Uh, Joy Filled Eats has a recipe for this, and she puts it out on a pan, refrigerates it, and then cuts it with a cutter. The professionalism, I'm telling you. No, I couldn't remember what Mary said. said. You should be able to click the little X next to it, Karen. There should be a teeny tiny little X next to the ad that goes away. Um, all right, let me go ahead and do the filling. I am using Joy Filled Eats filling, but I am not putting it in a pan and cutting it out and dipping it because I hate dipping things in chocolate. I'm terrible at it. Come on now. Okay, so see what what happened was I melted my chocolate a whole bag of chocolate with a little bit of Coconut oil just a little to make it glossy and It didn't melt enough. So I warmed it again, and then I it very quickly seized on me Or well, no, it didn't I take that back Those were good Sarah, a lot of work. They were definitely a labor of love. Um, I added cream to it because I wanted it more milky chocolate and my cream wasn't warm enough. I warmed it, but it wasn't warm enough. Um, come on! So I put my cream in my chocolate and it seized it. So I, should, I just added some oil and it came together. It's fine. All right, so this calls for two thirds cup peanut butter. And it calls for two thirds cup peanut flour. I'm gonna do the peanut flour first so that it doesn't stick to my cup when I put my wet peanut butter in. Using my noggin this morning. Actually, I was thinking, why did I put this runner down? Just so it can get filthy. Oy. Oh, that's crunchy. What, come on, do I not have any smooth peanut butter? Please tell me I have a smooth peanut butter up here. Come now. Well, stink on stink. Oh, wait, I do have one right there. Look at that. Ta da! I do have some. This is Skippy, no sugar added. This is the right one, right? Did I grab the right? Yes, I did. This one. This is really good. Crunchy peanut butter would be good, but I don't, I like crunchy, but I want smooth filling for this. Whoops. Measure it, KJ. Measure it. I want my peanut butter to taste right, so I need to measure it. I love crunchy peanut butter, but I don't want it in my trees. I was thinking when I started, I'm going to have to have a little because I'm almost out and I don't want to go downstairs and get another jar. I'm going to have to have a little bit of crunchy, I guess. Or I could just add some extra peanut flour because I am not quite at two thirds of a cup. Oh, I know what I can add. How much do I have there? I know what I'll add. Perfection. Add some joy. Oh, oh, see, I just dripped that all over my runner. Why did I put a runner down? I'm the messiest cook in the planet and I put a runner down. There we go, some cashew joy. That will be good in there. Tracy called it. She said, actually, that was a total, um, that, was, that was a transitional genius and I didn't even mean it. Uh, today's giveaway for 12 days of Christmas giveaways is joy. I'm giving away some joy. 
This is the giveaway, not this half empty container because that would be kind of rude. This is the giveaway for today. A pitcher for your joy and a, uh, uh, did I say a two pack? Is it a two pack or a one pack? No, it's a one pack and a pitcher of joy. <gasps> Yay, don't miss out on that. I'm excited for somebody to get that. Somebody who's never had it and will love it. All right, some powdered erythritol. I'm gonna use Swerve, because I love how perfectly powdered Swerve is. Everybody will love the Joy. Whoever wins Joy is gonna love it. Today is day five of Christmas giveaways. All right, two tablespoons of butter or coconut oil, optional. Yeah, right. Oh man, I don't have two tablespoons left in my filthy mess of a container. All right, we'll just go with whatever that is. It's not even a tablespoon. And then that should be washed because that's disgusting. Gross. Okay. And some vanilla. It does, my hands are all covered in peanut butter. I'm gonna rub it in like it's a special lotion. Close enough, right? I'm not working for the CIA. Close enough is good enough. Oh, I love peanut butter. Does anybody else love peanut butter? The ingredient right before the butter was that my joy or was it it was joy it was my joy susan j-o-i it's gonna need some extra liquid oh just a little oh you know what'll be good in there a little cream a little cream that'll just add the zhuzh to it a little half and half Thing of beauty. Man, I love Christmas. <laughs> the white powder. Oh, it was swerve. It was swerve, Susan. It's conf you could use gentle sweet. I used swerve. It's just, I like it. I like it. Perfect. Oh. Perfectly perfect in every way. Just almost Mary Poppins like. Oh, my little Christmas trees. I used a quarter cup. This this filling recipe is from Joy Filled Eats. It's right out on her website too. In case you don't don't get it all written down. This, you know how it like, let me just describe that for a minute. You know how it like sticks to the roof of your mouth and you can't talk very well? That's when you know it's perfect. Yup, that makes me happy. Makes me happy. I'll probably have enough maybe for more. I don't know if this will just make six or what. This is a big old trees. Look, they're gonna be so cute. There wasn't Jennifer. Facebook's stupid sometimes. It's just perfect, Tracy, it's what it is. It's perfect. It's gotta stick to the roof of your mouth, make you go then you know the filling is perfect. Yup. Wanna leave a little space for the peanut butter, I mean for the, Let's see if I can make a royal mess, why not? I need a little space for the chocolate. Oh, I got chocolate on my hand about, I'll take care of that.
See how they're nice and spilled around the edges? That's really going to add to the whole look. Uh, Tina, I, I melted some Thrive chocolate, added some coconut oil and some cream to the chocolate to make it more milk chocolatey. And the filling is from Joy-Filled Eats Peanut Butter. She's got a recipe for peanut butter mm -hmm. trees. She, she rolls hers out on a cookie sheet and then cuts them with a Christmas tree cookie cutter and then dips them. I ain't got that much energy. So I'm just putting them in molds, in Christmas tree molds. Um, if you're not signed up, tomorrow's mo tomorrow morning is the last Christmas or last holiday cooking class, live cooking class of the season. If you're part of my group coaching, you have a free seat already and you've been registered to the event and should be getting emails about it. Tomorrow's class is called It's Beginning to Look a Lot Like Breakfast. We are going to make cinnamon roll pull apart Christmas trees and out of no carb easy bread or you know an alternative you can have an alternative if you don't have no carb easy bread and we are making i gotta fill all the limb all the branches here it's important that all the branches have peanut butter and we're making eggnog for real eggnog Peanut butter has to be one of the worst possible things to need to wash off your hands. It comes off so hard. All right. Let's top these with a little chocolate. Get them in the freezer. Oh, that's just a bit much, Kelly. Slow your roll. Holy Hannah. Just a little. You don't want, I don't want my shell too big because I like a more peanut butter, less chocolate ratio. These are gonna be messy, that's okay, it's mine. I'm not serving them to the president. I don't have to worry that they're perfectly shaped. I'm not serving them to anybody but myself. So if they're a little messy on the edges, who cares? But you know what I'm doing by making these? I am putting my armor on. I am putting my Christmas armor on. I do not need, there are a million options, you guys, for healthy, delicious Christmas treats. I do not need to go into the Christmas season into it. We're already into it. I don't need to be in the Christmas season. All woe is me, look at all the treats people are eating and I am over here on a diet. No, get over that foolishness. I get treats just like anyone else. My treats are just healthy and they're ridiculously good. Nobody's going to tell me I can't have chocolate covered cherries and peppermint patties and Christmas trees and cinnamon rolls and all that jazz. Life is short. I'm going to have good food, but it's going to be healthy because life is short. That's what I, instead of saying life is short, I'm going to eat the junk. No, life is short. I'm going to eat the healthy treats. See, they're not messy at all. All right. All right, yes. Make the recipe. That's what I'm going to do, Mallory. Look at you being all smart. Yeah, well, you do have to do the dishes when you do your own cooking. But here's the thing. I gotta get some parchment. And of course, my parchment is under my pizza pan because where else would it be than under my pizza pan? Nobody is showing up on my doorstep. Amazon is not coming with healthy on-plant treats for me. So I have to put in the effort. Is it extra work? Yes. Yes, it's extra work. So what? Do you want healthy treats or do you want diabetes? Put in the extra work. You'll be all right. I ain't gonna kill you. A little extra work never hurt anybody. All right, where are my little pokey thingies? I use for dipping stuff. Where they go? Where they go? 
I have little poker fork thing, things specifically meant for dippage. What do you think I did with those? I'm sure I hid them somewhere where I wouldn't forget. Well, I guess I'm going to have to do it old school and use a fork. Well, I'm not very good dipper. I don't know where I put them, Tracy. My chocolate's a little thick. I'm not, listen. I am not a professional when it comes to dipping things. I am bad. I am flat out bad at it. I see people do like Buckeyes with the little perfect thing on their top. You're not, Betty? Oh, Facebook's being dumb. Do you remind me what sweetener can be used in baked goods that doesn't leave crystal? Allulose. Christy, allulose is the one that doesn't crystallize. How do people do these Buckeyes and not get the top covered? Because I'm no good at that. <laughs> not like this. That's how they do it. It's not at all like this. I just don't, yeah. Oh, a toothpick? I have no idea. I am a mess. I have got chocolate in places chocolate really doesn't belong. Oh, come on now. It's gonna slide right off. Nope, nope. <laughs> My peanut butter is too soft. Oh, just cover the whole thing, KJ. Who cares? Does it matter if it's got a little eyeball on the top? Nobody cares. It's your peanut butter ball. My pe my chocolate's too thick now. Oh, look. KJ's making a mess. Oh, no. Whatever. I'm not going to freeze four peanut butter balls. I'm just going to, you know. That's right, Christy. Right? That's right. It just means extra chocolate. Who cares? It's fine. Fa la 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 la. So I hear from a lot of people, you know, I just don't have time. I don't have time to do all this prep. I don't have time to make all these desserts. I don't have time to stop in the morning and make some Christmas trees so that I don't go face first into the bag. Yes, you do. I don't want to hear that another time. Listen, I'm going to scold you like a mother. I don't want to hear those words come out of your mouth ever again. Do you understand me? And the reason I say you do is, listen, girl, I may be late for work, but I have a full-time analyst job. I'm an IS analyst. Don't ask me what that means because I don't even know what I do. But I'm an IS analyst full time for a major hospital system. I work 40 to 45 hours a week there. I run Joyful Life with KJ, which is no small feat. Let me just tell you, there is that is no small task. I am busy with coaching. I have a huge group coaching group that is amazeballs and has a lot going on in it. I do, I've done eight cooking classes, the six cooking classes this season. I have one-on-one -on -one clients that I'm working with. I probably work 60 to 70 hours a week just with Joyful Life with KJ, okay? And I work my analyst job and I homeschool my daughter. And I grocery shop. I don't vacuum because my robot does that. My husband does the laundry, so I don't have to do laundry. Once in a while I'll do a load, but not usually. Get all this extra chocolate. I need to put that in a mold or something. I'll just pour it out on here and it'll get hard and turn into a bark and I'll have a piece of chocolate. 
I am busier than a, I don't know. I can't think of a good analogy. I am a busy, busy, busy woman. And I find time to do this. Why? Because I'm worth it. All right, and so are you. Nobody's gonna make healthy choices for me. I gotta do it myself. So get off your butt and make some peanut butter trees, okay? It ain't gonna kill you to spend an extra 15 minutes in the kitchen. All right, go sign up for 12 days of Christmas giveaway. Oh, I should shut off my sink. 12 days of Christmas giveaways, so maybe you can win some joy tonight. Um, what else? Holy healthy new year is starting very soon. It's going to be here before you know it. Go get your seat in holy healthy new year. If you're part of my group coaching, you have a promo code in the group to use to save you some money. If you're not part of my group coaching, go get in, get in while the getting's hot. Okay. Registration is at the top of this link. I am also doing, um, discovery calls for one-on-ones. If you would like to be a one-on-one -on -one client of mine for January, February, March, I have very limited space left. I am filling up quickly, quickly with my one-on-one. So if you'd like to learn more about what I offer for one-on-one -on -one, and we can talk about whether it's right for you or not, for some people it's not the right, I'm not the right one-on-one -on -one for some people. I'm a lot. So, and, Financially, it may be for you. Financially, it may not cost enough for you. Financially, it may cost too much for you. So I'm not the right fit for everyone, but I am the right fit for many. So if you want to be part of my one-on-one, -on -one, um, it starts January 1st, but I need a call with you first to talk about whether we're the right fit or not for each other. Um, you can register for that at the top of my page. It takes you to a calendar unless you pick a date. I have all my open times on there. You can just go pick one, sign up, and I'll meet you there on Zoom, and we'll have a little chit-chat. Uh, what else? I guess that's all I have for now. All right. I love you so much. Go so oh, Joy. Thank you to Joy for sponsoring this giveaway. If you would like to buy some Joy, make sure you use my promo code. It's addjoy.com is the website. Use the promo code JOYFULKJ to save money on your joy, okay? Joy at a discount. What's better than joy in your life than joy at a discount? Um, and then, yes, unrest code only lasts a few more days. If you want to get unrest at a discount, unrest coffee, you need to go do that soon because the promo code's only open for like three or four more days. Same code, JOYFULKJ. Save you some money. All right, guys, I love you so much. Have a great day. I will uh, see you later. I'm going to go put these hot mess balls in my fridge. If you want to be part of it's beginning to look a lot like breakfast and make eggnog with me and pull apart no carb easy bread cinnamon rolls um, tomorrow morning at 10 a.m. Eastern, the registration link is right, registration link is right on my website. Are you talking about puff quinoa in that piece of chocolate, Tracy? That would be good. That's a good idea. Maybe I'll go do that. I just rubbed chocolate all over my face. Um, registration is on my website. Go to joyfullifewithkj.com, click on coaching, then classes, and it's called It's Beginning to Look a Lot Like Christmas. Nope, beginning to look a lot, a lot like breakfast. And we'll do that tomorrow morning. It's going to be a fun morning. All right, guys, I love you so much. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful Friday. Stay on plan for crying out loud. I love you so much.